So as you may be aware, I've been given the Lumix S5 to test out and so far I really like it. I did a video about if you could vlog with this camera and you can see that up here. Super interesting because I think this is a really underrated camera, especially for the price. But it's taken me a while to actually properly go out and test it. So the other day I went to Matlock. Right, I've come to Matlock to test out the Lumix S5. See, I told you, I went to Matlock. And I thought it'd be a good idea to hire some rowing boats but I didn't, re didn't realise just how difficult it was to film on a moving boat. <laughs> oh yeah, because you can't move it, can you? Right. Now, I was a little bit pushed for time that day, so I didn't get as much as I'd hoped, but I'm still gonna show you the clips because I've got plenty of footage. I'm gonna do another dedicated full review of this camera, so make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell to keep notified of when I upload these videos. But this video is more of a first look. I wanna talk about the image and I wanna talk about the colors of this camera and the dynamic range. So, let's have a look. I need to point out that Panasonic did send me this camera free of charge, but they've not told me to say anything. If I don't like it, I can send it back to them, but that's not the case. I absolutely love it. I just wanna make you aware that everything that I do say is 100% honest feedback based on my use with this camera. I mean, I'm super impressed. I've spoken about it before, but for the price, it's the best image I've ever gotten out of a camera, including the FX6. The FX6 is my favorite camera that I've ever used, other than the R6 for different reasons. But this image blows it out of the park. It's incredible, absolutely incredible. The only difference is the FX6's low light capabilities. But again, I've not done full tests with this yet, so I will be talking about that at some point soon. There's just something about it. It's got that film-like quality that I've been after for so long. I don't know what it is. I can't put my finger on it. There's just something about it that looks a certain way. But because of the dynamic range and the quality of the image, you can push and pull that to wherever you like when you're color grading. There's just lots of room for experimenting with how you want the image to look. And that means you can be more expressive with it and try out different things and find your own style much easier. I love it, absolutely love it. I'm, I'm still getting used to it from the Canon. It's slightly different to use, but really happy with the image can't stress enough if you've not tried one of these cameras you need to try one honestly you will be blown away so i've actually got like a two slash three step process when it comes to color grading with the s5 and i've been using vlog i'm not going to go into too much depth with that in this video but if you do want me to talk about color grading with vlog let me know in the comments below and i'll do a full video about my work through and the steps i take to get the colors that i want from this camera so i used one of the LUTs that i've made myself on all of this footage and it's part of a pack that i've been working on for well over a year now i said it was going to be out soon then but it's almost ready, I just wanna make it perfect because I used to film obviously on the Canon, now I've been using more Sony's and Panasonic and I wanna make them work a little bit better across the board. So I'm just tweaking things slightly and as you can see, they work perfectly on the Lumix as well. So I'm almost there, so stay tuned as well 
for, for that. It won't be long, I promise. <laughs> Mind you, I promised before. Dynamic range is insane. Coming from the R6, and I love the R6 as a camera, so great to use. Image looks incredible right out of the camera. But the dynamic range in this, it just means that you've got so much more control over your image. For example, in this shot here, I'm in the shade. There's a little bit of light in the corner, but you can see how much detail is captured in the shadowy area and I'd not even set my exposure properly at this point I was just messing about because I, I wasn't intending to film this part it's still a quality image if I'd have set the exposure properly it would have been even better and the fact that there wasn't much light in this area I can still boost the highlights without adding too much grain and it looks fantastic it looks amazing it looks like it was filmed that way couple of other things about using this camera for the first time properly. The size and the weight of this thing, it's not heavy so you don't get fatigue while you're using it. That comes in handy when you're in awkward situations like a boat for example. But the image stabilisation is great, it's got that really natural handheld look and I love that, it's amazing. You don't have to worry about any of those jitters or anything like that so super happy with that. I just can't wait to get using it even more. Panasonic have also been kind enough to send me three lenses. I've got a 24mm, 50mm and the 85mm, all f1.8, so super shallow depth of field, autofocus or manual focus. What I love about them the most is they're all the same filter thread size, so you only have to buy one filter for these. Love that. Saves you getting the step up rings. Not had much time with these, so I'm going to do a full review video about all of them at some point soon, so stay tuned. Let me know what you think to the image and the colours of the Lumix in the comments below. Always love to know what you think. If you want to see more videos like this, more examples and comparisons, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified. Have a great week and I'll see you in the next one. Oh,